What is up, everybody? Previously on Build a Joe. <laughs> That's how I should start this off, like the old X Men show. Previously on Build a Joe. <laughs> um, all right, so we are back. I promised I would do the third bag. We've got a bag here, ladies and gentlemen. And we've got an Oreo doing squeak, squeak. Squeak, 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 right? Squeak, squeak. <laughs> He's a crazy man. Zorpox, what's going on, man? Welcome, everyone. Welcome. Hello. Buenvenue. Welcome, everyone. <laughs> Wait for some more people to trickle in, but... Uh, Starting it off with uh, the two previous guys that we did. Fix his little knee pad. The knee pad's crooked there, crosshair. Okay. That dog is sleep flipping out. <laughs> what are you doing over there? I'm being a dog. So, funny story while I'm waiting for people to come in, while we have some time. Um, that, you like that stinky diver? Let me see how much he smells. Let's see if he's extra stinky today. Oh, God, I'm knocking figures over everywhere. Let's see. <laughs> he must have put on some Old Spice today. He's not that stinky. Not today, at least. He's lost some of his stink. <laughs> Holland Bricks, what's going on? Action figure expert, how you doing? Honda YouTube. <laughs> I think you meant hello YouTube. <laughs> Honda YouTube. Honda YouTube. Unless you're speaking in maybe like a, maybe there's like a secret code you're trying to fill me in on. Honda YouTube. Rich, Rich, Rich Laporte. How's it going? Is it Laporte? I, I, there's an e on the end. So if I if I'm saying I'm wrong, I'm an idiot. Happy birthday, Holland Bricks. Love that chicken from Popeye's. Popeye's chicken is a shiznit. <laughs> I think it was Holland Bricks. Holland Bricks, I think you're, you're custom, you're, your character's almost done, bud. <laughs> the meat just slides down your throat hole. <laughs> That's right. All right, so we'll get uh, we'll get uh, Crosshair out of here, and we'll get Stinky Diver. I guess that's his name now. <laughs> out of here, and we'll move this. We will remove. Actually, eh, it does work as a good platform. You know, that, that annoying noise I just made that came out of my mouth. Yeah. Oh, John Wick got, John Wick knocked over. John Wicky. Wicky, wicky, whack, wicky, wicky. Okay, so today, <laughs> today we have a build a f character figure thing. Knocking things over. All right, here we go. We got first. We're gonna start off with this torso. We're gonna remove the hands. This torso, okay, okay, okay. Mr. Garrison, okay. Then we're gonna go with these legs. I already put the knee pads on. Okay. I was originally going to use the contract ops legs, but uh, if you put the contract ops legs on. This lower torso, which I needed this lower torso piece to connect to the upper torso, um, they get all, they're all like wiggly. It's like they're, they don't, they have a tight fit to them. So I just went with the green legs. I had an extra set of green legs. So just go with that. Hopefully we don't have any freezing issues today. Next up, we're going to go with this tack vest. Okay. Get your guesses ready. <laughs> I'm not going to show the weapon. Zuh. 
or the headgear yet. This one's a smaller build, a simpler build, one that uh, is very accessible as far as your wallet is concerned. We've got a tactical knife here. Oh, and then we have, <laughs> we have dos, count them dos. Two padded hands. Why is this not focusing? Why you ask no focus, man? There we go. Padded hands. And we have some pouches and such. Pouches and such. Just four. Too big. Too small. And that is... That is the build. <laughs> Not a whole lot going on here, but it does work for what it is. I actually have to go run and grab something really good because I forgot something. So talk about, I'll, I'll, I'll do the Linda Richmond. Talk amongst yourselves. I'll give you a topic. Grape nuts are neither grapes nor nuts. Discuss. Okay, I'm back. All right, we've got weaponry. We'll get to the weaponry last, okay? <sighs> okay, so first things first, we're gonna put that down and go to the upper torso. So we're gonna get rid of these hands and put the all black hands on. Any guesses? Early guesses, maybe? Early guesses for the character. Who could it be? Who could it be? <laughs> I'm like, what's wrong with him today? I'm in a really good mood. <laughs> I'm in a good one. Here we are, friends. Here we are. <laughs> okay, there's one hand. There's the other hand. Now we're handless. Oh no. <laughs> It's quite all right, my friends. It's quite all right. We're going to poppage, do some poppage. Ooh, that went in nice and easy. I'm starting to think that some of their hands, the uh, the pegs are a little bit easier to work with now. So there you go. Oh, we've got two, we've got a couple. Um, no, it's not grapes, nor is it raisins. Um, it's not muskrat. And it's not chuckles. I know you guys were talking about the grapes nut, grape nuts thing. I just thought it was funny. Um, is it chuckles? Is it muskrat? I don't know. Woodman, what's going on, bud? I don't know. All right. <laughs> Where did I put the thing? Oh, okay. Where did I put the thing? Oh. Where did I put the... Okay, anyway. We are going to attach... Ready? I'll do the... What theme song should I do? Chuck Rat Muscles. <laughs> I'll do the the Terminator theme. Da-da-da-da-da. 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 
Alright, enough of that. <laughs> I didn't take my pills today, apparently. No, just kidding. I don't take pills. I don't do it. Alright, next we're gonna just fall. Let's see. We're gonna put this right here. Right there. That's where that's gonna go. Right there. That right there. Damn yeah, right there. Chuckles is your favorite Joe? Wow. Flint? Hmm, I don't know. Could it be? Chuckles is your favorite Joe? I don't think I've heard of too many people say Chuckles is their favorite Joe. I like it. I like the variety there. I do. I do like that variety there with that answer. Eh. This is this is this is just this is just getting ridiculous. <laughs> Alright, so there we have that. Okay. Still no guesses? Come on, guys. Come on. Come on. Uh-oh. Did I knock? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, there. I found them. Okay. Somehow. Okay, so here's a funny story while we're doing this. So today I, I woke up, you know, rather normal hours. Uh, Jungles is my favorite Joe. I will never... I never really heard of him before last year. Really? And he's your favorite Joe? Huh. Alright, so I was sleep I was sleeping. All of a sudden I hear the door open. For my downstairs is I have like a little I have like an alarm for my house. So I hear the the alarm go off and I'm like, what the hell? What the hell's in my house? So I get downstairs and there's nobody there. I'm like, what the hell? So I like look out my front window. It was my dad. <laughs> Just came to my house, opened up the door, um, and he let, <laughs> he he randomly just got me more dog food for Oreo. And I was like, I didn't even ask him to do that, but thank you very much. And like I had a a, 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 a like a, a homemade pizza that I made for uh, it was like a goat cheese pizza. Don't sleep on goat. I know a lot of people don't like goat cheese. But don't sleep on goat cheese, that's all I'll say. Um, <laughs> it comes to pizza. Anyway, so I made a homemade goat cheese pizza, and half of it was left over. And I come downstairs, and, like, there's a piece missing. So <laughs> I go back upstairs, and I'm like, oh, he must have, my dad must have taken a piece. So I go back upstairs, I take a shower, I'm getting ready for work. And then uh, I come downstairs, and then all the pizza's gone. So I'm like, okay, well, my dad must have got hungry, no big deal, he took some pizza. Or he took the rest of the pizza. I think there's like four pieces left. So I, I call my dad later. And I'm like, Dad, were you, did, did, you, did you, were you in my house earlier? He's like, yeah, yeah, I, you know, I dropped off some dog food in case you needed it. I was like, oh, thanks. Um, and I was like, did you take the rest of the pizza? He's like, no, I didn't take it. Guess who ate the goat cheese pizza? <laughs> now, this is the thing about Oreo. He doesn't normally do that. It's very rare that he does stuff like that. But he ate four pieces of goat cheese pizza. <laughs> so I'm like, dude, you're going to, like, have diarrhea. What are you doing, dude? And he's, like, looking at me like, oh, no, what did I do? What did I do? I'm just a dog. I don't know. All right, anyway, so there's a little story for you. <laughs> yes, Oreo for the win. He, he definitely won that one. <laughs> Nothing I could do there besides not leave pizza on the counter like a dipped. <laughs> I blame myself for that one. God, these pockets keep falling off the table. You know, that's the problem. I have too much stuff on my review table. And, oh, come on, where'd it go? It went into the abyss. It went into the abyss. 
damn it, I need that other pocket. All right, anyway, we're gonna go with that, and then we're gonna go with this right there. Okay. Okay, and no, nope, still no guesses? Come on, y'all. <laughs> yeah, you scared the shit out of me, all right. I'm like, who the hell's in my house? I'm gonna have to slap a bitch. Plus, I was walking down the stairs with like an extended baton. I'm like, who's <laughs> in my house? It's like noon. Because I, I, I wake up a little late, in case you haven't noticed. But, um, because I work weird hours, but. Where did that other pocket just go? Pocket? Come out, pocket. All right, anyway, let's put the other pocket on. I can't believe you guys haven't gotten this yet. Come on, guys. Come on, y'all. Damn it, where'd that other pocket go? It was just right here. I'm gonna try and do some liftage. Maybe it's underneath this? Nope. I don't know where it went. I have to find a new pocket. See, and this is the problem. I never order more than I need. Because why would I do something silly like that, right? Yeah, uh, the the type, I believe it's called the Type 96 um, vest. It's a good vest. It's a really good vest. It's a, it, it might be one of my favorites, too, if not my favorite. Um, these are really good vests, too. The new Contract Ops vests, those are really good, too. The Valkyries have really awesome vests, too. I gotta make some more female characters, too. Damn it, where'd that pocket go? Oh, wait, did I just feel it? Oh, did I find it? No, I didn't. All right, well, we're gonna have to move on. I wanna sit here, ding-donging around, looking for pockets. Oh, I found a on the little radio. Radio. Alright, there's radio. <laughs> you guys ever seen that movie, Radio? With Cuba Gooding Jr.? Radio. Alright. Well, damn it. I can't believe that pocket just, just vanished into the abyss of nothingness. Is what I call the the uh, rug on my floor. Let's see, what do we have here in the comment section? Hello, everyone. Welcome to Build a Joe. Build a Joe. Beachhead, huh? Hmm. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe, baby. Steeler? That's a good guess. Maybe you've cried as an adult watching that movie. Oh, yeah, of course. But whenever I hear someone say radio, I I'm I'm immediately have to go, radio, you know. Plus, <laughs> there was a guy that I worked with. I used to be a, a chef in a, in a, <laughs> in a kitchen. <laughs> and there was this dude that we worked with, and they would make fun of each other, call each other names, like, um, or... Our manager at the time, he was, um, he hated being called anything. He's like, your typical, atypical, like, macho, mouth breather type dude. Um, dude bro, like, wears Wranglers and, like, played high school football and was living vicariously through high school still. Um, and he would, uh, he hated being made fun of. <laughs> He had done some prison time in in the past, and this this other my this other guy, my friend Demetrius, um, he called Demetrius Radio, <laughs> and Demetrius is African American, so he called him Radio, and Demetrius got mad and he called him <laughs> he called him Sloth, <laughs> and you gotta keep in mind that this guy has like he's bald headed, 
He was in the military. Did a little bit of, you know, jail time. But he's a, overall is a really good dude. Even though, you know, everybody makes mistakes and blah, 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 and all that, all that stuff. But um, <laughs> they just would constantly make fun of each other. So he called him... <laughs> he, called, he called him uh, Sloth. And then I go, Pete... I hope this doesn't offend anybody, but I go, Pete, have you <laughs> ever got your shit pushed in, man? And he's, everyone in the whole kitchen is dying laughing. Uh, sorry. Me and my lame old stories. Okay, so I found a, um, a substitute pocket, and it doesn't match, of course. Not that it really has to, but just for a filler in until I find that other... Silly pocket. We'll just put that there for now. Okay. Gas, how's it going, man? Um, the, 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 the. All right. So come on. No, come. You guys get come, Steeler. Um, is a, is a good guess. Hollow point. That's a that's a good guess. Um. All right, so let's just finish it off. I'll bring him over here, okay? Okay. All right, so we got, we got this now. A quick little, whoa, what could that be? I don't know. <laughs> and then we got rock and roll. I don't know. I don't know if it's rock and roll. Maybe. I feel like a I feel like a mother, like I'm saying maybe all the time. Like I remember when I was a kid and I used to ask my mother, Hey mom, if I'm really good this week, can I can we go to Toys R Us? And she'd always go, Maybe. And I was like, Oh man, you said maybe. Maybe means no. Whenever a woman says maybe, that means no. <laughs> I don't care what woman it is, that whenever they say maybe, that immediately means no. <laughs> maybe never means yes. We will see. Yeah, any any version of maybe, it all of that, yes. The same thing, exactly. We'll see. Ugh. It's like, I'd rather you just say no. <laughs> don't get my hopes up. Don't keep me stringing along, you know? All right, so I'm just gluing things right now. Except for that last pocket. Because I am determined to find my pocket later. Anyway, so. Okay, enough of that. All right, so someone guessed it, and I believe it was Woodman. It's Hollow Point for you. Hi, my name's Hollow Point. Um, my favorite drink is Sex on the Beach. And then I like having sex on the beach. <laughs> okay, enough of that, sir. And seven people just unsubbed because of that joke. I'm just kidding. All right, so we do have hollow point here. The tan pockets gave it away. I went with a darker tan because the FSS one is such a light tan. Um, and the FSS club also switched him from being a army ranger to a marine corps sniper which is i don't know i guess i don't mind the change but why why did they change it i don't know maybe they forgot that he was a ranger <laughs> they're like oh yeah he's a ranger well we'll just make him whatever marine corps already printed on the card we'll just go with that all right so for his snipe hat or knife hal he did have a he did use a a um sorry. I'm doing something. Yeah, he came with a, actually a vehicle. Um, I can't remember what vehicle it was. Uh, I think it was like a chopper. I think it was like the Locust version two or three, something like that. But it looked like a uh, Cobra Fang, kind of. And he didn't come with any accessories, so I don't mind that the club switched him up a little bit and made him like a, 
made him a little bit different. Let's go ahead and give him his sniper rifle, the proper one. Not the one that Hasbro gave us. The Marauder's version. That's right. And then we'll give him his side or his uh, sidearm. We'll give, <laughs> we'll give him his other rifle. And I'm just doing this pose just to show off the, the stuff that he's coming with. I was going to go with a backpack. I did have an extra backpack for him right here. I could use this for aesthetics. Oh, he's taking a nap. You drunk there, Hollow Point? Um, and I actually have a Hollow Point base, so he will get that. And there we go. We'll go with the hollow point base. This was a very easy, cheap custom if you want to go this route. I apologize for losing the pocket. I will find the damn pocket. But if you really want to go this route, you can. There's your marine sniper. I don't actually mind the marine sniper change for him. We don't get too many marines, so I don't mind it one bit. Um, if you do want to compare and contrast with what I have to what the FSS Club gave us, the FSS Club essentially used, the majority of him was the Pursuit of Cobra uh, low light body with a, I believe, a new vest. I believe that is a newly sculpted vest. And the head, I believe, it might be reused from, um, oh, who was it? It wasn't Cutter. I'm trying to think off the top of my head. But this is essentially what he came with. There he is. There's the hollow point. I didn't know. Well, essentially what happened was I was just, I made him, right? And I paid for him, correct? And then my buddy sent me him. And I was like, why, why'd you do that? <laughs> so I wasn't, I wasn't expecting to get him. Oh, God's sake. Why can't they just put a little bubble going, like, right here? I'm sorry, I'm way off camera. Why can't they put a little bubble just going right here so they can stand up? I just don't... Ugh. Ugh. Anyway, let me get something to hold that up. It's driving me up the proverbial wall. There we go. All right. We'll get a droid to do our bidding. Star Wars Black Series droid. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right, so, uh, so we got low-light body, essentially, uh, different head. They did get, I did give him the same, um, was it, I, I think it looks like an R5 rifle from HK, I think it is, it's, uh, with a M203 grenade launcher, a silencer on it. Uh, I did notice it, some people, while they were shooting the review for this, they were putting, they got so confused with the rifle and the silencer for the rifle that they kept putting the silencer for the rifle on, <laughs> on this gun. And I'm like, no, it already has a silencer. You don't put the, stop putting that silencer on that silencer. <laughs> it's double hush puppy, you know? What did, what did they do for his forearms? Um, it's the low light here. I'll just show you. Get him out of the way. And get this out of the way and that's gonna fall over now we are staring at a uh, roger 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 rabbit all right so for the body this entire body the, the majority of it besides the i believe the vest is obviously and i think that's newly sculpted the head was reused from someone else i think it might have been cutter i'm not 100 percent sure on that don't quote me on that but i know the head was reused um the, uh, the body itself, though, is from Pursuit of Cobra Low Light, and all they did was paint the little um, kind of gauntlets he had. Or cuffs that he had on his attire. So this is just painted black. That's just painted the same color as these pockets. And then the, the pants are just painted a green instead of a gray. So, And if you'd like a comparison, I can show you a comparison with Low Light. Come here, low light. Come hither. Yeah. Thank you kindly. Okay. So, we'll put low light right here. And we'll scoot him over. 
like so. We'll bring him in. Okay. The pants are exactly the same. Even the little attachment on his leg for his scope is exactly the same. It's the same rifle that he comes with as low light. The Obviously the vest is different. I think actually, hold on, let me double check this. No, okay, so they did switch the upper arms. Let me point at it. The upper arms right here are different from these upper arms. These have like armor on them. He does not have armor up here. So, but the lower arms are exactly the same. It's like that. Oh wait, no, there are they are different. Hold on a minute. Hmm. Hmm. They are different. They are. Hmm. So I retract my previous statement. These are not low light arms. I don't know what arms these are from. I'll have to look it up. But the tack vest, the legs are the same as low light. That you can quote me on. Uh, I'm not sure if the upper torso is because I haven't taken off the vest, so I apologize for that. But um, but there you go with the, the comparisons with some of the parts used right there. Um, you can go on, what is it, Half the Battle? Halfthebattle.com. They explain all of the, uh, the builds for the FSS Club, so if you guys want to check that out, you can if you want to. So I tried to give you as much. I, I, I apologize for giving anybody false information or, or wrong information, but he does use the low-light legs. I'm not sure if he uses the same upper torso. But he doesn't really have too much of an issue uh, with looking down the sights, but his hands kind of have the issue of holding his weapon properly, and then the weapon doesn't stay attached properly. So that's why I went with this build for him. Um, it's not, you know, doesn't look exactly the same, but everything is essentially from Marauder's Task Force except for this little backpack right here which is from Low Light and this rifle which is actually from the Lady J uh, Baroness 50th Anniversary 2 pack. But there is the build. Um, it, it didn't really cost me too much. I did have some um, some stuff lying around that I was able to use from before with him. So, yeah, I think it came out pretty good. Um, I'm going to spruce him up a little bit. I don't think I'm going to go with any. I just went with the straight black arms. That I just the, the tan arm just didn't make sense to me, so I just went with straight black. I think it looks a lot better. Um, and it does kind of, he does have a good flow to him. I think the uh, the tan pockets, the darker tan pockets are the, are the route to go. I think it just looks the best as far as going a lighter tan. I, can, I feel like that's a little bit too bright. And like I said, I'm going to find that other pocket. I don't know where the heck that thing went. It, like, it ran away from me. It said, Anthony, I don't want to be a part of your life anymore. I need to go out into the world figure out what kind of pocket I want to be when I grow up. And I was like, okay, you know, a man's got to do, a pocket's got to do what a pocket's got to do. And that's, that's what happened. So I apologize. Do I have the little bullet for low light? I do still have, uh, I actually have t three, four low lights. One was for a Marauders custom, which I showed you guys before. Um, and then, well, one I bought really cheap. I just bought the body and it was like, I think it was like five bucks. So I bought the body for five bucks and I used the head. I reused, what else? I think I just used the head, but that actually the low light head, if you're trying to build yourself a sub zero, uh, action figure here, here's a quick little build for sub zero. I'm waiting on another low light head for this, but, uh, I'll show you my Sub-Zero build in a second. Or actually, you know what? I'll save that for another video. But Sub-Zero, FSS Sub-Zero, does use the low-light head with just no goggles on it, that's all. If you're wondering. But there he is, just uh, twirling all around. <laughs> Uh, quick plug for another channel that uh, has been around 
doing the Marauders thing, and uh, I always like throwing uh, other channels that probably should have more subs than they do a bone. Um, go check out Action Figure Junkie. I know there, I know there's some of you that do know of him, but uh, uh, go check him out. He likes to do um, similar things. He kind of builds them and then shows them, uh, as opposed to you know I do I do my thing. He does his thing. You know, different styles. So, but there's Hollow Point. Like I said, <laughs> armored gauntlet things with them and so. Yeah, I think the black sleeves look a lot sleeker as far as the design goes, you know. I'm probably going to add some pouches to his arms, which I could actually do right now. Let me see if I can find some black pouches for him. I don't think I should have too much of an issue. It's just, see, this is how I lose more stuff because there's so much. I, if you guys can see my reviews table right now, it looks nice and clean, but if you go a little bit that way and then a little bit that way, <laughs> there, there's stuff all over the table. So, pockets. Pocket, pocket. So if you want yourself a sniper, this is a cheap way to go. Um, I think the build, the whole build cost me, I already had that upper torso. Uh, the forearms, I think they, those run around two bucks, maybe, something like that. Lower torso, torso you can get by itself um, if you just order a plain black upper torso body. Ooh, excuse me. Um, you can just get the lower legs, and this way you don't have to buy two bodies. You're not spending too much money. Um, so that will cost you $11.99 for the all-black body. And then the legs would probably cost you, I think it's like 6 bucks for the legs. Uh, you don't have to add knee pads. I did, just because he technically does have knee pads by his design. So I just added them in. Um... I want to say he's probably around a $25 build, $20, $25. Bucks if you have to buy every little thing, if you don't, you, you, I mean, you don't have to add the this and that to him. I just, I had it lying around, so I did, but you don't have to. But I'd rather spend... Uh, 25 bucks at Marauders, then. But if you do have parts, spare parts lying around, it's not going to cost you too much. There we go. And I found another pocket. We'll give him some pot. Oh, wait. That's not a right, the right pocket. Excuse me. It's armor. Armor, not a pocket. Oh, boy. Oh wait, I can give him this, and I'll give him a uh, uh, marine insignia on this. We'll switch him up a little bit. You know, we don't have to make him look exactly like the club did. So let's stop that. Oop, oop, wrong way. <laughs> All right, so we'll go ahead and we will put on that on his side of his arm, like so, and then we'll put a pouch on this side. Spruce it up a little bit. And then I'll look through my stickers really quick. I put a little blank uh, piece right there, and then I put a pocket on this side. So there you go with that. You can't stand open holes? Yes. Eh, it's, it's all right. My pockets only cost, but depending on what pockets you get. You don't have to get the kit every time, you know. I mean, I could fill up the holes. It's okay, though. Actually, what I could do, which would make more sense, is I'll take this off. Instead of putting that pocket on, I'll give them a little radio. Radio! Give them a little radio right there. Beautiful. 
looks stunning. B E A U T A. Absolutely. So there is the build. Where did my sticker sheets go? Sticker sheets come out. Come out with y'all. Yes, yes. I have. Where did all my sticker sheets go? There's one. That's not the one I want. In case you guys wanted any sticker sheets, where did they go? What the heck is going on here? Oreo, did you eat my sticker sheets too? Oh, wait. Blech. There, he just threw them up. Now I have them. Okay, so we have this sticker sheet right here. Okay. And here are some new sticker sheets that they came out with, a, I want to say a couple months ago. Maybe, maybe last year. Might have been last year, actually. But this one is like, uh, this one's actually, I have thoughts for another custom for these, some of these. And then you also have these right here. Pretty darn cool, if I do say so myself. Pretty darn cool. And then here's the older sticker sheets. Do I have this this in tan and black? Yes. Those are that's for the like the iPads and, and such. And then there's I already showed you that one, sorry. And here's the big original old sticker sheet. With a whole bunch of different stickers and stuff. Alright, so let's give him that one looks. Mm, I don't want him to look cheesy. Where'd all the marine logos go? There's only one. All right, we'll give him this one. That's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. For now, until I find a better sticker, which I will, and we'll give him this. Since he is an instructor, I think that can work. So there you go. He looks a lot better now. He's not as holy. <laughs> holy, holy, holy. You're thinking about ordering the tan and black one? Go for it, bud. Do it. Do it up, man. Do it up. Do it up. All right. So there is the hollow point. Now, the reason why this is a funny little factoid, if you don't know this, the reason why I have this outside the packaging from this hollow point is because... <laughs> You know, you know that FSS club always doing us dirty, right? <laughs> the stand that he came with had a, uh, was grammatically incorrect, and it it was hollow point instead of spelled properly like this. It was spelled H A L L O W P O I N T. Hollow point. <laughs> so, good job there, club. Hello, point. <laughs> Reminds me of like, uh, what was it my grandfather used to say? Hello. Hello. <laughs> or like Wayne's World when he's like, hello. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, Rich says, uh, I grabbed some of those sticker sheets myself. Need the SWAT logo for my 118 scale striker from Mortal Kombat. Oh, yeah, that'll work great. That will work great. I'm thinking now. Okay. Uh, <laughs> um, 
if you guys want, I can show you. I'll bring in some snipers. All right, we'll put him here. First off, let me get that other gun out of his hand, and we will have him holding this properly, instead of like a a fool. <laughs> I do still have to glue in his sights. So. In real world, this rifle weighs a ton. It's huge. Huge. So we got him holding that. Two-handing it properly. Uh, where'd you go, Crosshair? Come back. All right, we've got Crosshair over here. Okay. We got our, we have our instructor here. We've got our kind of jungle sniper, and then we'll get our urban sniper as well. Bring in the Marauder style version of low light, and there you go. You got your snipers right there. Marauder, Marauder, Marauder. I do have to say this. I'm just as happy i still love the pursuit of cobra low light it's still one of my favorite retail figure releases um but i mean damn the marauder one is just whew, so well done very pleased with it this uh pretty much what uh the pursuit of cobra low light did use was the same um uh, sniper rifle that uh hollow point uses but i wanted to switch it up so I gave him a, something a little different. <laughs> I'll back him up a little bit. Now that's his meow. <laughs> Is this, uh, um, <laughs> show me that sniper rifle right meow. Sir, did you just say meow? <laughs> what do you think I'm talking, well, who do you think you're talking to? Why would I, why would I joke, love joke around like that in a time like this? <laughs> Super Troopers. Oh, I love that movie. The sequel was, I, I gotta, I gotta be honest here. The sequels kind of fell flat. I'll be honest. Still, still entertaining to watch, I guess. The whole bear scene that was like, what? That's you're trying too hard, guys. <laughs> but I'll do the little rotation here. There we go. There you go. There's your, there's your sniper squad right there. Sniper squad. Actually, I should probably put hollow point since this is his video we got to give him the spotlight so we'll put him up front and i can i i will i can i i'm asking a question like i can't do something um i would like to re recommend this build uh and i would suggest that you stay away from the fss um crosshair it's just not a very well built figure um, the tack vest is better than the tack vest for this guy that was used from the original one from the Valiverse Venom line, but, um, I still think you can build a better crosshair than the FSS club gave us. That one just, as far as function goes, it's not very good. I heard there's some quality control issues with that figure as well. Um, but, uh, just to point that out, just a little suggestion I'm going to throw out there. Uh, just to kind of save you guys some hassle and, and a lot of money because, I mean, you'll spend a, a half to a quarter of the price building him as opposed to paying $60 for the FSS version. You know, that doesn't hold a gun properly. Can't hold a gun, period. It just keeps popping out of its hand. The gun doesn't stay together as well. Um, it, this, it, his, the gun that he does come with from the FSS club is based on the MSR, which is what he's got here. Um, but you can get this MSR from Marauders. So, and I think it's a better sculpt, a better build overall, and it doesn't fall apart on you. So, 
You don't have to worry about that. Now, granted, he will not come with his case that he's supposed to, but, I mean, there's not a whole lot of snipers as far as being in the jungle environment that walk around with a, <laughs> with a case in their hand. It's No, they have their weapon out, and they wrap the muzzle, so. But, I don't know. I had a lot of fun building all of these. Uh, that low-light build is an older build. Um... I want to say that was probably one of the first Marauder builds I did. Okay, uh, Holland Bricks has a new video coming up, so stay tuned, everybody. Be sure to check out his videos. Laugh at you because you're lighting? <laughs> I mean, you can get cheap lighting. You can definitely... You can go on Amazon and just look up, like, photography lighting or photo lighting or whatever... And you can find, like, a, a nice little cheap starter build kit. You can even get one of those boxes if you want to. I know a lot of people like the lighting boxes. I don't use them, but um, they do work. Um, you can get a whole kit, I think, for, like, 50, 60 bucks, if that. Um, and then your lighting will improve exponentially. So you could go that route if you want to. Because overhead lighting just does not work the same. You kind of have to have photo lighting but there's tons of cheap ways you can go you can get twenty dollars worth of lighting stand lighting equipment and it'll work and i don't necessarily have the best lighting either i wish i had better lighting I, you know what that's it i'm going to get better lighting <laughs> better lighting and uh i'm in the process of getting a new computer so there's that whole thing going on so i miss my old editing Instead of iPadding all the time, you know? But, yeah, these builds were a lot of fun to do. I'm glad you guys dug the Stinky Diver <laughs> Shipwreck version, too. Um, I do have a few other Joe builds, but I don't want to make this a collaboration video. I'd like to give them their own spotlight, so we'll wait on those. They are... Simple builds using a lot of them. A lot of them are using Joe bodies. So some of them are not Marauders bodies. So I won't market it that it's a Marauders build or anything like that. I'll just say build a Joe. Grim, how's it going? Grim and Zorpox reviews. Stinky. <laughs> but yeah, I, I updated. Oh, there goes one of the builds. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Um, I'm really pleased with the update that I gave Boomstick and an update that I gave to Checkmate. Um, if you don't know, you're like, who the hell is who are the hell are those? Um, Checkmate is my character. He's the team leader for my team called the Sweet Sixteen. Um, and then Boomstick is a member of Fenris Company. So they're two separate characters, um, both kind of based on different, um, different, I don't want to make myself sound like I have multiple personality disorder, which I don't, but <laughs> uh, different parts of my personality, I'll say. Um, so Boomstick is the more loud, boisterous, jokester, smartass and uh, checkmates more of the um, meticulous eye for detail uh, leader, uh, where Boomstick is support character. So, um, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hall and bricks anytime. You know, I'm here to I'm here to help as much as I am to sit around and have fun with you guys too. So. If you guys have any questions or want any advice or anything on anything, let me know. That's what I'm here for. But I think this is the build to go with. Um, I'm trying to think of what else I have on the way. I do have some Joe reviews on the way. I have a whole bunch of G.I. Joe reviews on the way. So there's that. I'll stop spinning this because it's probably giving you guys motion sickness. I do this every time. I spin this thing too long, and then someone's like, "Did you stop spinning that?" <laughs> I'll wait for it to go around one more time. There we go. 
Um, so I do have some stuff on the way as far as Joe reviews go. Um, I do, I, I, as far as priorities go, I do have a, a bunch of FS, FS, la, 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 FSS figures that I got from uh, a friend of mine. Um, and then I have a couple, like, 30th anniversary figures to go through. Um, what else? I do want to do another vehicle review, which I have not done in a while, but I will do one. And uh, there's also my Marvel Legends X-Men wave that I do want to give my thoughts, comments, and concerns about as far as that Caliban wave goes. So there's that. Uh, what else? I'm trying to think what else. Do, 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 do. <clears throat> oh, Mace Windu. I, I'm definitely going to be doing his review soon. And I'm going to be doing the rest of Fenris Company. Um, so that will be a lot of fun. So Building the rest of the team as well. The, the boom lights work really well. A lot of people use boom lighting. Uh, like those photography boom, those big boom. They look kind of like uh, umbrellas. Uh, a lot of people use that. Um, I would go for the boom box. That's what it's called. They're like boom, and they look, they're in the shape of like a square. Um, I would go for those instead of the umbrellas. I feel like you get better overall lighting, and you can direct the lighting a little bit easier as opposed to the umbrellas. Uh, that's actually the lighting that I want to get, but I don't want to get the... <sighs> See, I've seen horror stories with, with the cheaper lighting. If you just get like lamps like I have right now and then you get high quality bulbs that kind of stick out a little bit further and they're larger and they're higher density bulbs, uh, that will work for you um, enough. That's pretty much what I use right here. Um, but if you get like the boom, the boom boxes, then that'll work way better for you. Um, that's what I should get as far as like there's a lot of darker lighting on each side of the camera right now and that will fill in a lot of the what these lighting what this lighting right here is trying to make up for right now so that's why i have to bring my lighting back behind my camera to really get the brightness onto the figure and it's even more difficult with three and three quarter inch figures because you have to have them propped up and close to the camera um you don't want to have them on the table unless you have the camera flush with the table and you can get a direct shot with them um, so it's kind of tough. That and maneuvering your hands with the, the character, it's kind of a pain in the rear end. But, um, but yeah, that's, that's usually what I go with. I try to bring these up. That's why I use this rotating table for three and three quarter inch figures. It just works that way. It's, it's nice that it rotates here and there. And, um, but yeah, there you go. In case anyone was inquiring. <laughs> my lunch use the force but yeah you could definitely go on I would definitely go on Amazon if you're just looking for a startup kit and you can you can try some of the uh, the cheaper sets um, like I said I, I don't know if I would go with a cheaper boom lighting or uh, umbrella I mean you can try it but I have seen some of them this is going to sound worse, and it's probably going to turn a lot of people off from it, but I have seen some videos, and this is a rare case, keep in mind, but I have seen some of them light on fire. So if you do use those, be sure, and I think a lot of what the people were using them for, um, they had too many things plugged into the socket, and it, those, those boom, those boom uh, lighting, they do use a lot of wattage, so be sure whenever you're done reviewing to unplug them from the wall or your your strip, because even though your strip is turned off, you always want to unplug just in just in case. So I always unplug everything after I'm done. <laughs> so there you go. There's some a little bit of help with lighting. I don't know everything about lighting. I'm not I'm not saying I do, but. Uh, um, to those of you that are trying to start off, because I started off with, 
oh god, where did I start off with? A friggin' like two lamps on each side. Like just it was abysmal. <laughs> and, I, I, and I don't have expensive lighting either. Like I, I don't, but but I do with what I have. <laughs> But I definitely want to get some higher quality lighting, and I want to go back to using my camcorder again because I was way better quality. I, had to, I still have a really good camcorder that I use all the time. So, um, but the computer will cock block the, the crap out of that. So just, damn it, where'd that other pocket go? I'm still looking for that other pocket. Oh, Marauders also has these stickers too. The the different countries and everything so pretty cool i would like to honor my canadian brethren since i'm so close to canada i could spit and i'm in canada you know um i'm essentially 10 minutes away from canada but um i would like to build a canadian character so might have to do that in the future there's not enough canadian brethren <laughs> as far as the gi joes go they're all, like, from Long Island or, <laughs> like, you know, the East Coast or, the or like, L.A. And, and, you know, like, California and such. But, uh, but yeah, that's going to do it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And I hope you guys enjoy this annoying voice I'm doing right now, too. But <laughs> I'll be back with another video. Pro I don't know, maybe tomorrow with it in the next two days i'll do another upload so it's probably going to be a, a regular review and uh yeah it's a lot of fun to do you guys are awesome thank you for tuning in um i appreciate it i know there's other channels that are going live right now that are joe related and probably getting most of the traffic but and that's all good i appreciate you guys sticking with me hanging out and uh you guys have a great day you're all awesome and thank you to everybody. Thank you to Terry Turner. Thank you to Hall and Bricks. Thank you to Zorpox. And thank you to Grim and Zorpox rev Reviews. And thank you to Zorpox as well. And um, uh, Rich Lip Lich Rich. Richie Rich. That's that's your new name, Richie Rich. Uh, you're probably like, shut up. Uh, thank you for popping by. Appreciate it. Uh, David Martinez, thanks for popping by. Gaz, as always, brother, thank you. Um, Walter Archie. Who do I like better, yours or theirs? Um, sorry I missed your, your comment there, Walter. Um, I like, I, I don't know, I mean, I think... Proportion wise, I like my version better. Uh, I nah, overall, I think I like mine better. I, I just, yeah, I like mine better. I just like the anatomy of Marauders. It just looks good, you know. Oh, that's that's Zorpox's review channel, by the way. So, uh, Grim and Zorpox reviews. Those that's his review channel so be sure to check him out if you guys have any channels you can I, I don't it doesn't I don't it doesn't bother me if you plug them on here it doesn't bother me one bit uh, Woodman thanks for popping by buddy as always and is that it I'm searching I don't want to miss anybody here I don't want to miss anyone Unfortunately, I will not be going to um, Joe Fest. I was going to go, and then I, I can't do it. I have to work. So, Got to work that OT. You know? <laughs> oh, and action figure expert. Sorry, I almost missed you there. But you always pop by. I appreciate it. Thank you, everybody. You're all awesome. Can't wait to see my version of, oh, your character bio. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's right. That's the other thing I have to, I have a couple of spotlights I'm going to do. I'm going to do, I have to do the, the build video of, of uh, Hall and Bricks. Also, 
S. Myers sent me a bio. If you guys want to send me a bio, please, if you're going to send me a bio, uh, be sure to send it to ODC, that's me, which is just my, my YouTube name. Um, no space in it, just ODC, that's me, at gmail.com. Uh, if, you, if you guys want to join the subscriber uh, team, uh, there's going to be a subscriber team, and I'd like to get as many people involved as possible. Um, and you can send me your character's bio. If you don't want to make a bio, I can make a bio for your character and think of, of a character and a build for you. But if you want a specific build, you can send it to me. And, uh, yeah, you can be a part of the subscriber team, which is now growing. We have one, two... Where's the other one? Wait, one, two, three, four so far. So as many character builds as I get, that will continue to add to the team so uh rich oh wait your rich said i'm wondering if you got mine i'm worried about if my gmail used the same name as this um yeah don't put a space like i said uh if you guys are going to send me an, an email uh, it's just ODC, that's me, with no spaces in between anything, um, at gmail.com. That's it. it. It's very simple. Um, so try to, Rich, try to send it back, uh, re, or resend it to me. And uh, I will I will get to work on that. But yeah, it's a lot of fun to do. You, uh, Terry Turner says... I created a Sergeant Slaughter Uncle Sam post for Joe Fest 2019. Nice, man. That's awesome. Yeah, I, I really wanted to go, and I was <laughs> I was trying to coax Strident into going to... We were going to go to Joe Con last year, and it just... Logistically, it wasn't working. Uh, the timing was off. Uh, it just... You know, maybe next year. I would love to go to one that's a little bit closer... If there's one, I know there's like, what was it, um, something Coil Con or something like that. I know there's one in like Ohio, which might be a lot easier for, for, for me and for Strident to go to. But I'd like to go to a Joe Con-ish convention with him. And, and uh, I'd like to meet a lot of you guys, you know, in person if, if that's if, if logistically possible, you know. So... I don't know. Worst case scenario, there's always next year. We could always, I can always go next year. I, I, I like your, I, I like everyone's bio. Everyone's bio is pretty, pretty fun to read. You know, I like the creative juices that you guys have, squ have squeezed out of yourselves. <laughs> Christopher, what's up, man? Is that a new Marauder's Rifle? Uh, really? About a, I want to say about a year old, maybe? I think it came out well, when the uh, Valkyries came out, that rifle. Uh, uh, the guy in the red hat is Hollow Point. He's an actual real G.I. Joe. Um, obviously, you know, that's, that's low light right there. That is Crosshair. I did his video a couple days ago. And then this is Hollow Point. So they're all, three of them are snipers. Uh, we've got the um, kind of jungle-esque sniper in Crosshair. You've got your marine sniper right here in Hollow Point. And then you have your urban uh, sniper in Low Light. So. Well, yeah. Yeah, the, the bios that you guys are sending me are, are very well done. You guys are very detailed. Which is good. That's a good thing. Two updated from... Yep, exactly. Valiverse Venom. You got it, man. You got it. Um, like I said, here is the... Because I think you might have just joined us. Let me get him out of the way. And we'll get low light out of the way. Come here, low light. Just to do show you a little comparison, because I know you just pop, might have popped in. There's a comparison with the FSS Club. I know what those forearms are from, but I can't place it. 
It's not from low light, though. Because low light's arms are beefier. So. But, I don't know. I like this build better. I think you, you save yourself a lot more money with this build as opposed to spending $60 on a FSS figure. Um, I got that FSS figure for free from a friend through a connect. He didn't want it. He doesn't... He was never a fan of the New Sculpt era. He only collects, like, the vintage style figures, so um, that's what he wanted in modern form. So, but he doesn't collect New Sculpt era, so he doesn't want it and sent it to me, so. Um, but, yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a very easy build. It's not difficult. Uh, like I said, you can, you can spend a... I, what I usually do is I just go on Marauder's website and I spend about an hour kind of just going through ideas first picking out a character which i think i could do um there's a whole plethora of different characters that i have um lined up but i'm waiting for specific bodies to get back in stock and i did talk to a couple uh people on the marauders uh fan page and they said that there's going to be a lot of the older bodies that that haven't been in stock in a while um they'll probably be restocking there's going to be a big restock in about a month or so um so Thanks, Holland Bricks. I appreciate that. Yeah, I, I agree, Chris. I like I like this build better, too, because I just... The Marauder's bodies, they just... I don't know what it is. Like, the, the bodies just... They're, they're, the anatomy just looks a lot better. It, it, they look... I don't know. It, I, they grip their weapons better. The plastics feel better everything is just i think it's better it's the next step to gi joe without it technically being gi joe you know yeah i, lo I love yeah i love the olive drab too me too i concur gaz gaz is i i love gaz's build i think it looks fantastic it really helps him stand out his character so Yes, they do. They do, Chris. They hold their weapons properly. Exactly. The next thing I would love to see, I would love to see this. If Marauders can do it, and I know a lot of, a lot of, um, what was it, uh, a lot of, uh, like, Joy Toy and Acid Rain figures, they do this a lot, is to get the... To get the um, the heads to look back, so they they can stare down the sights while they're lying prone. That I would love to see. So that would be really cool. So, but uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna stop it here, guys. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoyed this build. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for tuning in. Like I said, I'll be uh, trying to get as many reviews out as fast as I possibly can. So just uh, bear with me a little bit and uh, yeah, stay tuned for the next review and I'll see you guys on the flip side.